I'm going to demonstrate how to properly lather up a cat's coat with a Chubbs bar. So we've got a new Chubbs bar here. Um, this is uh, a used Chubbs bar that we have uh, been using on several cats already. We make sure that when we store it, we are not keeping it in water, so we just simply keep ours on top of our tub like that, uh, rinse off any hair that might collect on there, and then set it on top of the tub for the next use, keeping it again out of the water. So um, I will show you how to lather up the cat's coat and get a nice smooth lather so that we know we're getting it properly degreased. It is difficult sometimes to thoroughly wet a cat's coat, depending on the type of coat that the cat has. It can uh, take a lot of water to thoroughly penetrate all the way down to the skin. So initially, I'm wetting the cat very well here, all over, top of the head. And then I am going to get my dry Chubbs bar here and simply just rub it right onto the cat's coat like this until I begin to get a sudsy lather here. It doesn't take too much. Add it in different places around the body. Put the bar down, and now I have enough shampoo. It takes very little shampoo, actually. I have enough to get the torso of this cat completely lathered. I'll probably have to add some down the legs, up around the head, and the belly area. Now, as you see I'm working here, what I have is a very smooth finish, uh, or not finish, but a very smooth texture going on here in the coat that is free of chunky uh, strands of hair. That's the best way I can explain it. What I don't want to feel here is any stringiness or chunkiness of any kind. If that is present, I have not penetrated all the way down to the skin, to the root of each of those hairs. So as I'm feeling the cat uh, rubbing and lathering, scrubbing, I am checking for that smoothness of the coat everywhere I go. And I still feel this chunkiness down here in places I have not penetrated all the way down to the skin. And oftentimes what is needed is not more shampoo, but more water to help get that all the way down to the very, very uh, root there, all the way down to the skin. I feel a lot of smoothness here. Um, on this side, this is still chunky, separated. I'm going to add a little more water here at this point, and a little more of the shampoo. Get that all the way saturated. This can be applied all around um, the ears, the head. Um, it's very easy to use a Chubbs bar on those Persians, Hemis, and Exotics that have that deep recessed crevice there at the break of the nose where the eyes are. You can use the corner of it to get that uh, buildup of eye discharge that often collects there and it makes it much easier to get that in there and not get shampoo in the eye. Now, this is all very smooth here. Um, still have some chunkiness back here. We need more water. And I also need to apply some shampoo in this area because I did not apply it there in the beginning. So I'm going to add a little Chuck's Bar shampoo in this area. Very little. It's very little to get the job done. And I make sure that that smoothness can be felt all the way to the end. Check for stud tail, often present right here. We want to make sure and get all that out. And now the only place that I can feel that chunkiness going on is down here in his chest area, which of course is a place I have not already applied the shampoo. So I'm going to apply some there, add some water to work that in, just a little bit of water. Make sure I get good penetration of the shampoo lather. At this point, I feel a very smooth lather everywhere except right here. I can still feel a bit of chunkiness. I wish that you could feel this watching the video, um, but it is there. If I feel that, I'm going to add a little more shampoo and a little more water. And still, it is nice and smooth. Now I know I have degreased all the way down to the skin at this point. And now we're ready to rinse. After that first rinse, I can actually feel a squeak in that coat. I'm not even sure if you can hear that. It is present. That tells me that I have degreased this cat. 
Now, in my experience, most cats, if not all, are going to require at least two lathers of degreasing shampoo in order to really get that satisfactory finish at the end. But I do have, um, I've made a good bit of progress here after this first lather. So after I rinse this guy off, I will again apply the chub shampoo. It will be easier this time because we've got complete saturation of the coat with water. So it's just a simple application of some more shampoo. Put my bar down, work in my lather all the way down to the skin. And then once I rinse this out, this guy will be um, finished with his bath and ready for a nice blow dry. And he'll have a very smooth finish on the coat. Um, completely free of that grease and separation, any chunkiness, it's all going to be gone. As long as I get that smoothness during the lathering process. Again, you can see there is um, a nice smoothness to that, that lathered up coat. And once he is rinsed out, he'll be ready to uh, be dried and then we should have a very nice result at the end.